If you watch my videos, you know, I recently found some of my old weight loss journals where I used to write down all the meals that helped me to lose weight. And recently I pulled out some breakfast from these journals and showed you that in a video. And one of you guys commented on that video and asked for some lunches. So I've been looking through these for some lunches and I'll just say, lunch has kind of always been the thing that I struggled with the most. It's awkwardly in the middle of the day when I'm the most busy. I need something that's quick and easy, that's simple to make, that also tastes good. I want something to look forward to and something that keeps me full. No one wants to be hungry all afternoon after lunch. So I have been looking through the journals. I've been scouring them, looking for some really, really simple lunches to show you. And I found them. These check all the boxes for me. I've got a spicy chicken mayo wrap. Very good, this one. Ooh. I've got hummus and roasted pepper sandwich and got this Mexican inspired black bean and pepper salad. So I'm gonna make the spicy chicken mayo wrap first. This, I love chicken and mayonnaise. I've actually got quite a few chicken mayonnaise recipes, but this is one that I really, really love for wraps. So yeah, let's, let's get started and make it. Just washing in a few vegetables and making a quick sauce for the chicken and this is where all the flavor is and by the way you can make any of these lunches in like 10 minutes or less to eat at home or to take packed for school or work they're all low calorie but still filling and this first one is really high protein as well so starting my sauce with about a tablespoon of mayonnaise a teaspoon of tomato sauce or ketchup about a quarter teaspoon of sriracha or any hot sauce and you can add as much as you like depending on how spicy you like it you know, go crazy if you want. A pinch of smoked paprika, and this is optional, but it really adds a nice smoky flavor, I love it. A squeeze of lemon juice and mix it up. It turns into a nice pink sauce. And I've got about 80 grams of grilled chicken breast meat here. You can use any pre-cooked chicken, or for a vegan option, you can actually use some chickpeas, smashed up first. Mix all of that into the sauce. And then for the fillings, I've got some lettuce, Got some red bell pepper slicing it up. Got some onion, which is optional. You don't really need it. You can add it if you want. I'm putting that all aside quickly. I'm heating up some tortillas. Getting a pan heated on the stove, throwing a tortilla in. And I like to do like 10 to 15 seconds aside. Then I add all the fillings, the, the fun part. Some of the lettuce, some of the bell pepper slices. This really adds a nice crunch, perfect for this wrap. Some onion slices, then adding the spicy chicken mayo. This is quite a loaded wrap. I really crammed it with the fillings, but I actually wrapped it my first attempt. And that's, I don't think that's ever happened before. I usually have to watch a tutorial video first. So I think I'm getting better. I think I'm finally learning how to wrap a wrap. And oops, a piece of chicken fell out. And that is my spicy chicken mayo wrap with one piece of chicken fallen out. <laughs> Now this one I'm about to show you is an old recipe of mine, an ancient recipe of mine. I showed you guys this about five or six years ago in an old video, so long ago. So I have to show you it again. I have to remind you of it because it is so simple, it's so good. And I'm gonna show you how I like to make it now. Pretty my oven to 360 degrees Fahrenheit. That's about 180 degrees Celsius because we are roasting some bell peppers. I'm just giving them a quick rinse and I like to use different colors because it really adds to the flavor and it makes it look good, you'll see. I'm slicing them all up and I actually had some slices left over from the wrap we made earlier, so I'm gonna roast those too. And I like to slice all of these up quite thin so that it's easy to add to a sandwich. You'll see when we put the whole thing together, but yeah, we're not using all of this on one sandwich, by the way, just in case you're wondering. I'm roasting a big tray and then I can add them to sandwiches, wraps and salads for the whole week. It really adds a lot of flavor to a meal in a healthy, low calorie way. So adding all of that to a baking tray with some cooking oil spray, some chili flakes, I like a teaspoon or two, a little bit of cayenne pepper, not too much, or it can get too spicy, just a little sprinkle. Some dried herbs are nice too, they're optional. I like oregano and basil and some salt and pepper. Getting all of that in the oven for about 20 to 30 minutes. I do about 30 minutes and after that my peppers are nicely roasted. And I just store them in a meal prep container, get them all in there, ready to go for the week. So I'm gonna make my sandwich now. 
I'm using two slices of gluten-free bread that are about 70 to 80 calories each roughly, just in case you wanna know with the calories. Getting that in the toaster and you know, I like toasted bread for a sandwich. It really just makes the sandwich better in my opinion. Getting some toppings ready. Got some bright green lettuce again and got some cucumber. I like to slice it up nice and thin for this and the toast is ready. And I'm using hummus for the base of the sandwich. I like a plain hummus for this. It really lets the flavors of the roasted peppers shine, but I really load it on. I'm using like a third of a cup and you can also do an open sandwich. That's nice too. And then just spread it out over two slices of toast, but I'm making a classic closed sandwich here. Then getting the roasted peppers on, I really load them on as well, like half a cup. I mean, that looks good just like that. It looks, it looks good already, but the fresh greens just really take it to the next level. I'm adding some cucumber slices on top, adds a bit of a crunch to the sandwich and topping it off with the lettuce. Close the sandwich and there you go. And that is my hummus and roast pepper sandwich. It's so simple, but so good. So I did actually share this one with you guys in a recent What I Eat In A Day video, but we are changing it up a bit. Because for a lot of my favorite meals and recipes, I do have multiple variations. With just making a few little tweaks and adjustments to something, you can make it taste quite different with just changing a few of the ingredients. So we are making my Mexican black bean salad, but we are spicing it up a little bit. We are adding some peppers, we are adding some chilies, and it actually does taste quite different with just those little tweaks. I will link the original one below for you if you wanna make the plain version. Uh, yeah, I'm excited for this one. A little spiciness, a little pepper. Mm -mm -mm. It's good. This is a very simple salad. To my bowl, I'm adding about a cup of cucumber chopped up, a cup of baby tomatoes chopped up, a tiny bit of onion, like an eighth of an onion chopped up small. You can also leave out the onion if you prefer that. Some fresh cilantro or parsley, or even baby spinach works. Just like half a cup chopped up. So just a little bit. It's not like a leaf-based salad. It's just a little extra in the salad. Then for the protein, I love black beans in this. It goes really nicely with everything in the salad. I just drain a can, rinse them, and add about half a cup in. Then some avocado really adds some creaminess to the texture. It also adds some healthy fats, helps to make it more filling. About a third of a large or half of a medium avocado. Then adding a teaspoon of olive oil, some lemon or lime juice, some salt and pepper, some chili flakes, a little bit of cane pepper, just a little pinch, and the star of the show of the salad, some of the roasted bell peppers. And I just slice them up first and then add them in, give it a toss, and on the side of the salad, I like some tortilla chips. This brand is about 140 calories for about 20 chips. So whatever brand you're using, about 140 calories worth of chips, if you wanna to stick to the calories. And I, I didn't count these though, I just, I don't know how much this is, I just loaded them on the plate. But they go really nicely with the salad. That is a really good salad. Oops, <clears throat> dropping my... So this salad and the tortilla chips together is roughly 400 calories. All the lunches that I've shown you are roughly 400 calories. So if you use my point system, then they're all roughly four points each. If you don't know what my point system is, I've got some videos on it. I'll link those below. But um, yeah, it's just this really simple method that I used to count calories so that I didn't have to count them. I'll link those below. So I like to eat it with the tortilla chips on the side. I like to use it as like a little scoop. Get some of the, oh, sometimes they break. <laughs> Just dropping all the food. Try again. Look how cute that is. It's like a little, little scoop. But if you're worried about your uh, things falling off your tortilla scoop, you can just... No. <laughs> if you're worried about your food flying everywhere, you can just use a fork like a normal person. Oh my gosh. See? Nice salad. Okay, that is all of the journal recipes I'm gonna be showing you for today. I hope that you enjoyed seeing some more journal recipes. If you wanna see even more, let me know. Maybe we can make a lunch. I mean, we've done a lunch. We did a lunch today. Maybe we can make a dinner video. We could make a snack video. We could make some treats, some desserts. There's a lot of stuff in here, okay? There's a lot of recipes. So let me know. This is, this is my oldest one. I collaged some pictures on the front of this one. <laughs> this was the first one I had. Oh, these ones are the oldest. 
Look at these. This was before I even had the journal. I just wrote them out in little pages. But I will link below the other videos that I've made. I made a breakfast one, as I said, I'll link that below for you. It's basically part one of this video series. And I also have made some what I eat in a day videos based off of what I ate to lose weight with these journal recipes. So I'll link those below for you. Oh, by the way, some of you did ask me where I got these journals. Okay, so some of these are really old and I don't really know where I got them, but some of them are a little bit more new, like these white ones. I did actually find them on Amazon. I'll link them below. And I did find some of these black ones. I hope that you enjoyed this video today. I hope you found it helpful. So these are some good lunches. So I really hope you enjoy them. And I'll have all the ingredients for all of these lunches we've made on my blog for you. That'll be linked below. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.